Happy good morning. This is Brian from Zenful Mindings. And <clears throat> this morning I wanted to talk to you about being grateful for the muck feeling. Um, and I'll, I'll tell you what that means to me here in a second. Uh, but it is for me the day before Thanksgiving uh, where I'm at. And this is a time of year where um, we talk a lot about like finding something to be grateful for. And I really, like many people, think that that's something we should do on the daily, not something that's like reserved for this one particular day. But, um, you know, this can be a very special time of year where you get to see your family and maybe there are like new and added things to be grateful for. Um, so don't like hesitate to be grateful is what I'm saying. And I specifically wanted to talk about like this muck feeling because I am very grateful for it. I've been uh, participating in this 30 day journal challenge with a friend of mine through the adult chair podcast. And I'm grateful for the challenge because um, one, I get to do it with a friend of mine and we get to talk about it, which is hugely amazing. And it's just in, an incredible experience, uh, but it's also gotten me back to like a more in-depth journaling process. Uh, that I was sort of starting to get away from in my busy schedule, which ties into the mucky feeling. So um, the other day, one of the prompts was about control. And in writing about it, like I realized that one way that like I uh, see control manifesting my life is over routines and schedules um, that happen like in my house, particularly in the morning, I'll focus on for this um, with my daughter, right? Like if you have kids um, or if you've had kids or, or you know, kids um, or even yourself, you know, trying to get yourself ready in the morning, trying to get out of the door so that you can meet like these demands of schedules, like to get to school or to get to work or to get to appointments or whatever it might be it can be just a regular zoo, right? Like there's so much that can happen in such a short amount of time. And for me, like I, I figured out, like I really cling to those schedules and routines because one, I want to get there on time, right? And I'm trying to teach my daughter like time management, like how can we do these things that we wanna do and still get out the door on time? But also because I, at the end of the day, I'm like afraid that if I don't have that, I will lose my cool and turn into like this beast of a mom <laughs> that that I don't want to be. And in my mind, like mind you, this is much different than like, you know, I'm losing my temper and I'm saying like, hurry up, let's go. Like, this is not that. Like I have a specific picture that I do not want to be. And I have never been that mom. I just have never been that mom. Um, and yet I fear it. So um, I was talking to my friend like about what I journaled about. And I realized that like I have all these examples where like I have tried to adjust routines and schedules to maybe make it more smooth, make it smoother, make it more smooth. Um, but also like I, like have messed up, right? Like I have lost my cool, but it's never been like this like scarring thing, you know? And I have always gone back and like tried to make it right, right? Like I have apologized where I need to apologize. I've hugged where I needed to hug. And I explained like how I would want to do things differently and those sorts of things. And those are all really important to me. And I have never turned into this beast yet. I am so scared of that still, right? So for me, what this boils down to is two things. Um, one, right here and right now for this conversation is the, the letting go of the attachment to this fear of this thing that I know I'm not. Um, and I can dig really deep and I can tell you like exactly where that picture comes from. And that's a whole other like long conversation. But um, I'm just not that person. And so like, so now like I have to remind myself of that. Um, but it feels really murky because now I know, like I'm looking at this like work I have to do and I have to keep reminding myself of that. The other part, um, aside from like that fear of absurdly being something that I have never been, is this um, like hard look at like where I'm making it more difficult, right? Like owning that and taking accountability. Um, and so for example, like I figured out that like at night, like I am like staying up later than 
um, is probably helpful because then the nighttime, you know, is my free time, right? And that's the time where, like, I do the things that I didn't get to do during the day um, that, you know, I really want to do <laughs> that make me happy as an individual, like not as a mom and not as a worker, and not as a friend or anything else, but just like the things that make me happy, right? Um, and a lot of times then I start that stuff at night when my daughter goes to bed, I get really into it. I stay, stay up later than I should. And this is now detrimental to um, the morning routine, right? Because I'm tired in the morning. So maybe I'm slower because I didn't get enough sleep or maybe I didn't wake up on time. And so now I'm making us late. And um, that's something I could avoid, right? Be but I have to somehow find this balance of like, how do I self-care with the free time, the doing these things that nourish me and feed me at night so I can have that free time, but also the self-care, the nourish, the feed me, and how do I take care of my body, get enough sleep, and if I find this balance, right, or when I find this balance, that's going to ultimately help in the morning. Um, and then, of course, other areas of my life. So that's the muck part, right? And I'm not exactly sure how this will pan out. I don't have a really good solution right now. Um, I'm gonna try a few things, and that is being in the muck. And being in the muck is a good thing, I figured out this morning, because <laughs> it means that you're moving, right? There is movement happening. Um, and it might be slow, and it might be messy, and it might feel like real, like, un, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Unelegance. That's not really the word, but I'll use it. Um, it might feel non-organic, but it is the start of organic changes. And I was thinking about like how when we get a cold, right, um, for the first few days, like, you know, maybe you could just feel like a little worn out, like nothing really feels like wrong. And then you like figure out you're sick and like nothing is moving in your body. Like it's all stuck in there, right? Um, your nose isn't running, you're not coughing, like you just, you feel it is stuck. It's occupying your body and it's weighing you down right? But then when your body starts to kick the germs out, when they finally start to get out and you kind of detox from that, what happens? You turn into running muck, uh, literally like you've got like runny nose, you're coughing, like the stuff is coming out of your body and it might definitely, this, I'm sorry for this imagery, it might be slow at first, but it is movement. It is the path to getting better, the path to improvement, right? And the same is very much true in the things that we work on in our personal lives, right? Emotionally, spiritually, mentally, um, that stuff is still true. Um, and I found that pattern of being in the muck really hopeful. So that is why I'm grateful for it today. And I wanted to share it in this very long drawn out explanation. Um, so from my heart to yours, uh, I show some gratitude for your listening ears and time. Please like, share, and subscribe. Uh, feel free to message or comment below and have a beautiful holiday or just a beautiful Wednesday. Bye.